Hello, my name is Saku Rantanen. I'm the board member of World Bioenergy Association and managing director of bioenergy business in BECIS, a Singapore headquartered renewable energy company. I would like to welcome you to the bioenergy plant that is located in East Java in Indonesia. This plant was built and is operated and financed by BECIS and it produces renewable steam for Heineken's brewery. It's covering 100% of the thermal energy need in this brewery. This plant has been operational for two years. Before that, Heineken used fossil gas to produce steam. Heineken has very ambitious global targets for CO2 emission reduction and this project is part of those efforts to reduce CO2 emissions and convert using renewable energy. I would like to walk you through the production process in this bioenergy plant. Java Island in Indonesia is a rice growing area. The rice is growing on the fields and is then harvested and transported to the rice mills. In a rice mill, they separate the rice from the hard shell called rice husk. This rice husk is typically waste. And we are using that rice husk as a fuel in our bioenergy plant. We transfer that to our site from nearby rice mills. And that transportation is the largest CO2 emission from our operations. It totals to about 90 tons of CO2 per year. However, even including this or taking this into account, we still reduce more than 80% of CO2 emissions compared to fossil fuels. At the biomass plant, rice husk is unloaded from the trucks to the biomass warehouse, then fed to the fuel conveyors that transport the biomass from storage to the boiler room. In the boiler room, biomass is transported from small storage bin to the boiler furnace with screw conveyors and compost it. When the biomass is burned, it generates heat and that will heat water and water will become steam. This steam is then transported to Heineken through steam pipeline. The biomass plant, including the pipeline, is financed, built and operated by BECIS. Heineken's base for the steam based on how much they use every month. When the biomass is combusted, we generate exhaust gas and ash. The flue gas is treated by ESP, electrostatic precipitator, and it is very clean when it comes out from the stack. The plant is now running, but you can hardly see any exhaust. In terms of air pollution, we follow the World Bank's and IFC standards which are six times more strict than the Indonesian local norms. We are working together with local communities to use us as a component of organic fertilizer. Currently, we have a zero landfill status. When we use ash as a fertilizer, we can recycle the ash back to the fields where the process started from. This is a very good example how bioenergy can be part of circular economy. I'm very proud to share with you the five main benefits of this bioenergy plant. First, it's reducing pollution and agricultural waste. Second, it's producing energy with lower cost compared to fossil fuels. Third, it's reducing CO2 emissions by more than 80%. And fourth, it's providing employment opportunities in rural Indonesia. And fifth, it's a case example of circular economy. Thank you very much for watching this video.